Okay, we have another example question. The particular situation and we have to find the value of x at the size of that particular angle. All right. Well, can I use ordinary trigonometry, sine, cosine, or tangent? Well, in that case, I need a right angle triangle, and that is not a right angle triangle. So, no. Um, so, don't worry too much because we also have the sine rule, which says that the sine of an angle over its teammate is the same as the sine of another angle over his or her teammate, yeah? which is the same as the sine of the third angle over his teammate. Now to use the sine rule, what do I need? I need a full team, another team. So I need an angle and its corresponding length. And I do, look at that, 30 degrees and five. I have a full team. The other thing I need to be able to apply the sine rule is the teammate of my unknown. So if my unknown is X, I need his teammate. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's teammate length. But I don't know it's teammate length. They don't give it to me. So. Do I give up now? Is that it? Is this impossible to answer? Are they asking me a question which I can't answer? No, of course they're not asking you anything you can't answer. Eh? Hang on, because they give you more information. Because actually here, I do have a right angle triangle. I have an angle, I have a length, so I can calculate A. Let's stand, let's, let's write down. Toa, ka, so, or so, ka, toa, whatever you teach, eh? whatever your book you use, you write it down for ordinary trigonometry. Yeah? If I stand at my angle, yeah, I'm gonna rotate a little bit, then which sides uh, do I have or do I need? I have the opposites, yeah? And what is A of my angle? It's a little bit difficult to see perhaps, but that is my adjacent, yeah? Because this is the hypotenuse across the 90 degree angle, yeah? So opposite and adjacent. So which um, ratio do I use opposite and adjacent? It's the tangent there. Eh? So I can write down that the tangent of 40 degrees equals the opposite over the adjacent, which is, I called it A, all right? And if I rearrange that, so I times this side by A to get rid of that fraction. So A times the tangent of 40 degrees equals six. And then I divide both sides by the tangent of 40 degrees. Yeah, that's only equal if I do that on both sides. Okay, so A equals six divided by the tangent of 40. All right, now let me put that in my calculator. Six divided by the tangent of 40 degrees. And I want to write down as many decimals because this is not my final answer yet. So please do not already start um, rounding this up or down. Let's not be lazy, let's write it down. That's A. Fantastic. What was I doing again? I have to find X. Oh yeah, the sine rule. Because X, that is not a right angle triangle. It's not part of a right angle triangle. Yeah? So I can't use the tangent, cosine or sine like we did before. But I can use the sine rule. Because the sine of X, so I start with my unknown, over his teammate length, which is 7.15052155, yeah, equals the sine of any other angle, and they give me this one, over his or her teammate length. You see that? So the sine of x equals, and I'm gonna grab my calculator because I don't have a lot of space left, I'm gonna put in the sine of 13 equals divided by five equals times it by 7.15052155 equals. I hope you understand what I've just done. Oh, and it's gone now, I have to do it again, sorry. The sine of 30, I'll do it a little bit quicker, divided by five, times 7.15052155, all right. Um, I was saying, did you see what I did? I rearranged that, so I multiply both sides by my denominator here to make x the subject, uh, 521556. But that is a bit of a small angle, eh? and I told you before, remember, do not forget, when you're looking for the angle, when you have to find the size of that angle, it is the sine of x 
that equals that. So to find x, we have to do the inverse sign. Remember that? So shift sign to the power minus one, the inverse of that particular answer. And um, angles we give correct to one decimal place. So 45.6 degrees, that is the size of angle x, yeah? So to find that size, first I had to apply some, let's say, ordinary trigonometry. So I could actually apply the sine rule, okay? Good, that was that. Um, or shall we do one more? Let's have a see. Let's have a look.